Here is here is second half summary of chapter 2 FSC biology for the revision and preparation of lecturer and subject specialist for PPSC. If you want to check first half of this chapter then please click on above i button or go in description for the link. Today we shall continue from protein up to end. Once more time it is humble request to all of you please watch videos online and do not download them. It's a matter of huge discouragement for us as well as our efforts. Thanks. Let's seek the start from proteins. Proteins form 50% of dry weight of cells. Mean if you remove all the water from a cell then the remaining dry weight is weighed 50% proteins. They are structure builders in organisms. Mean all the structures in organisms are built made up of proteins. All enzymes are proteins. Hemoglobin not only transport oxygen but also lipids and metal ions. Antibodies are proteins which defend against pathogens in the body. Proteins are polymers of amino acids. It means the building blocks of proteins are amino acids. From few amino acids up to 3000 amino acids in a row or in different chains. About 170 types of amino acids have been discovered so far and among these 170, 25 are constituents of proteins that one or either way they are present in proteins while most of the proteins, please remember, most of the proteins are formed from 20 types of amino acids. In amino acid, amino group and carboxyl group are attached to alpha carbon. Remember it, to which carbon carboxyl group and amino group are attached in an amino acid, the answer is alpha carbon. Glycine amino acid is simplest and has hydrogen atom instead of R or any other methyl group. So in glycine on both sides H is present. Similarly alanine is the second simplest and which has CH3 group also instead of R. So amino acid differ in R group only. All the amino acids differ only in their R group or you can also call them side chains. Peptide bond is formed by removal of OH group from carboxyl and H from amino, amino group. Please remember this fact. That's very important MCQ. Uh, glycyl alanine is a dipeptide. Mean it is made up from two amino acids. Properties of proteins are determined by number and sequence of amino acids in the molecule. So if you are asked that on which factor properties of proteins depend so you must remember that on the number of amino acid in the molecule as well as sequence or pattern of amino acid in the molecule. Primary structure of proteins. Sequence of amino acid in a protein comprise primary structure. Simple sequence of amino acids. That is the linear structure or simple sequence is called as primary structure. F. Sanger discovered sequence of amino acids in proteins the first time. Please remember his name. Insulin has 51 amino acid in two chains as 21 and 30 amino acids individually held through disulfide bridge. Disulfide bridge. This word is very important to remember here. Insulin two chains are held together through disulfide bond or disulfide bridge. Hemoglobin has four chains, two alpha and two beta and each alpha has 141 amino acid and beta has 146. So multiply 141 with 2, 146 with 2 and then add. So four chains will be uh, included and uh, the total number of amino acids can be calculated. Human body has 10,000 proteins as it is an approximate. In sickle cell disease, one amino acid in beta chain out of 575 is replaced only one sickle cell anemia or sickle cell disease and glutamic acid is replaced by valine glutamic acid is an amino acid valine is an amino acid and if one amino acid is remo removed or replaced out of 575 imagine the whole shape of the cells due to homoglobin become sicker secondary structure most common secondary structure is alpha helix in spiral formation it's a spiral look or like a spring each turn of helix has 3.6 amino acids important facts please open your ears as well as eyes hydrogen bonds kept the structure together 
विच स्ट्रक्चर सेकेंडरी स्ट्रक्चर बीटा प्लेटेड शीट्स आर फॉर्म बाई फोल्डिंग बैक ऑफ पॉलीपेप्टाइड नाउ दीज आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ सेकेंडरी स्ट्रक्चर रिमेंबर अल्फा हिलिक्स एंड बीटा प्लेटेड शीट्स अल्फा हिलिक्स आर मोस्ट कॉमन स्पाइरल फॉर्म्स वाइल बीटा प्लेटेड आर शीट्स विच आर फॉर्म बाई फोल्डिंग बैक ऑफ पॉलीपेप्टाइड फैक्ट्स टू रिमेंबर टर्शरी स्ट्रक्चर बॉन्डिंग एंड फोल्डिंग ऑफ पॉलीपेप्टाइड ओपान इट सेल्फ फॉर्म ग्लोबुलर शेप विच इज टर्शरी ग्लोबुलर मीन राउंड और सफेरिकल टाइप टर्शरी स्ट्रक्चर इज मेंटेन बाय थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ बॉन्ड्स आइनिक हाइड्रोजन एंड डाइसल्फाइड डाइसल्फाइड बॉन्ड इज बिटवीन टू एडजेसेंट सल्फर एटम्स डू रिमेंबर इट स्टेबल टर्चरी स्ट्रक्चर हैव हाइड्रोफोबिक अमाइनो एसिड इन साइड वाइल हाइड्रोफिलिक ऑन द सर्फेस और आउटसाइड प्लीज कीप इट माइंड दिस फैक्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द एम सी क्यू एज आज ऑलरेडी बीन ऑस्ट क्वार्टरली स्ट्रक्चर टर्चरी चेन्स एग्रीगेट and held together by hydrophobic interaction hydrogen and ionic bonds to form quaternary structure so these three attractive forces hold the tertiary structures together to form the quaternary structure which three one hydrophobic interactions hydrogen bond and ionic bond not all proteins exhibit quaternary structure that's a very uh, important and common fact that quaternary structure of proteins is shown only by few proteins which are quite large not all proteins show quaternary structure for example hemoglobin uh, is exhibit quaternary structure and that's a very important example to remember now most important of the proteins fibrous versus globular proteins fibrous proteins polypeptides in the form of fibrils because uh, these fibrous proteins form fibers secondary structure is most important in fibrous proteins insoluble in water non crystalline and elastic elastic mean their shape can easily be changed play structural roles yani form the structures of the cells or bodies for example silk fiber myosin fibrin and keratin are fibrous proteins on the other hand globular protein polypeptides are in the form of spherical or ellipsoidal conformations spherical mean round or oval shaped tertiary structure is important now note the difference soluble in water can be crystallized these features are opposite to fibrous proteins play functional roles please note and examples include enzymes antibodies hormones hemoglobin let's have a quick question to you which type of protein is elastic okay okay thanks the next important uh, information keratin is present in nails and hairs fibrin is blood clotting myosin in muscle cells please remember these facts nucleic acids the great first nucleic acids were isolated in 1869 by mixture from nuclei of cells nuclei or nucleus of pus cells pus cell in urdu mean peep they were named nucleic because of discovery in nuclei and acidic because of their acidic nature so these are the two etymological terms nucleic acid nucleic from nuclei acids from their acidic nature dna is present in nucleus mitochondria and chloroplast in the cells remember these three organelles rna is present in nucleolus ribosomes cytosol mean cytoplasm and some other parts which are not necessary here to remember nucleic acids are polymers of nucleotide units quite simple each nucleotide is made from three sub units very simple pentose sugar nitrogenous base and phosphoric acid sugar in dna is deoxyribose while in rna it is ribose quite simple nitrogenous bases with single rings that's very important fact to remember and learn nitrogenous bases with single rings are pyrimidines while with double ring are purines pyrimidines are cytosine thymine and uracil while purines are adenine and guanine nitrogenous base attach with first carbon of sugar and phosphoric acid attach with fifth carbon of the sugar very important term to understand and learn please 
नेक्स्ट बेस एंड शुगर टूगेदर फॉर्म न्यूक्लियोसाइड नॉट न्यूक्लियोटाइड न्यूक्लियोसाइड न्यूक्लियोसाइड एंड फॉस्फोरिक एसिड फॉर्म न्यूक्लियोटाइड दीज आर इंपॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज इन डी ऑक्सी राइबोज शुगर वन ऑक्सीजन इज रिमूव फ्रॉम ओ एच ग्रुप एट सेकेंड कार्बन ऑफ द राइबोज सो सेकेंड कार्बन ऑफ राइबोज हैव ओनली एच इन स्टेड ऑफ ओ एच ए टी पी इज आर न्यूक्लियोटाइड यूज एज एनर्जी करेंसी बाय सेल्स ए एम पी अडिनोसिन मोनोफॉसफेट हैज नो हाई एनर्जी बॉन्ड डाइफॉसफेट हैज वन हाई एनर्जी बॉन्ड ट्राईफॉसफेट हैज टू एनर्जी बॉन्ड बिटवीन फॉसफेट्स डी एन एज बॉस एंड कंट्रोल द प्रॉपर्टीज एंड पोटेंशियल एक्टिविटीज ऑफ द सेल्स देर आर फोर टाइप्स ऑफ न्यूक्लियोटाइड्स विच फॉर्म डी एन ए डीऑक्सी ए एम पी मीन डी फॉर डी ऑक्सी एडिनोसिन मोनोफॉसफेट गवानोसिन मोनोफॉसफेट साइटिडीन मोनोफॉसफेट एंड थाइमिडीन मोनोफॉसफेट डी फॉर डी ऑक्सी और डी एन ए यू कैन कॉल दैम बट बेसिकली दैट इज फॉर डी ऑक्सी सो इफ डी इज अटैच विद दिग्रोटाइट दैन इट्स फॉर डी एन ए एंड इफ डी इज रिमूव ओनली गोनोसिन दैन इट्स फॉर आर एन ए न्यूक्लियोटाइड लिंक through phosphodiester linkage one nucleotide linked to other nucleotide through phosphodiester bond or linkage through phosphoric acids nad nicotine adenine adenine dinucleotide is a coenzyme and is a dinucleotide this mcq i have seen in the past papers all nucleotides may have mono di and triphosphates as mp dp tp like for example amp adenosine monophosphate then adp adenosine diphosphate then atp similarly gmp gmp for monophosphate gdp for uh, guanosine diphosphate and guanosine triphosphate bilkul uh, same as uh, all next erwin chorgoff in 1951 provides ratios of different bases that how much guanine how much cytosine how much adenine and uh, thymine are present in the dna samples he found that adenine equal to thymine always while guanine equals to cytosine always here are the sources of different ratios or percentages of different bases in the different organisms for example man adenine 30.9 percent guanine 19.9 percent thymine 29.4 percent cytosine 19.8 percent now you can pause the video and can remember or revise all these facts very important terms to know wilkins and franklin determined structure of dna using x ray diffraction method watson and crick built model of dna now please remember the difference structure and model structure was discovered by wilkin and franklin while model was built by watson and crick coiling of dna is anti parallel that one strand runs top to bottom and the other will run from bottom to top two hydrogen bonds between adenine and thymine while three hydrogen bonds between guanine and cytosine are present between the two strands and you can you are also asked maybe that uh, which kind of bonds hold the two strands together and answer will be hydrogen bond there are 10 base pair in each turn single turn of the coil of dna have 10 base pair and it is 334 angstrom or 3.4 nanometer in length single turn of dna is 3.4 nanometer long please do remember it here is another table which shows the type of different cells and with different amounts of dna chicken and carp sorry the crab is written it is actually carp fish rbcs in chicken are 2.3 while in carp they are 3.3 picogram these units are in picogram and you can remember them in e coli bacteria 5 million bases are arranged in linear order in dna which code for round 4288 proteins remember first completely sequenced genome was of Haemophilus influenza a very very famous mcq which is asked many times haemophilus influenza was the first genome which was completely sequenced and was published in july 28 1995 please remember the july 28 it is important next rna 
आरएनए मॉलिक्यूल इज सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड एंड कैन फोल्ड ऑन इट्स टू गिव डबल हेलिकल फीचर्स सो इफ यू आर आस्क्ड दैट व्हाई आरएनए शो डबल हेलिकल फीचर्स व्हेन इट इज सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड देन द आंसर विल बी सिंपल दैट इट कैन फोल्ड ऑन इट्स ओन एंड कैन शो द डबल हेलिकल फीचर्स आरएनए हैज यूरोसेल इंस्टेड ऑफ थायमीन एंड इज फाउंड बाय ट्रांसक्रिप्शन ऑफ डीएनए क्वाइट सिंपल मैसेंजर आरएनए carries genetic information from dna to ribosomes to synthesize proteins for the synthesis of 1000 amino acid protein messenger rna should have at least 3000 nucleotides these are at least nucleotides messenger rna is about 3 to 4% of total rna in the cell transfer rna is about 10 to 20% of cellular rna and is small about 75 to 90 nucleotides only similarly it transfer amino acid to the site of protein synthesis there are 20 types of transfer rna for each 20 type of amino acid remember only transfer rna has 20 types according to amino acids ribosomal rna is major rna about 80% of total rna in the cell and is part of ribosomes on the surface of ribosome it interact with transfer rna to translate information very important facts about rna to remember please do revise them once more conjugated molecules they are formed uh, from two different types of molecules when they combine with each other like glycoproteins and glycolipids most cellular secretions are glycoproteins in nature so what are glycoproteins combination of carbohydrates and proteins what are glycolipids combination of carbohydrates and lipids and what are lipoproteins combination of lipids and proteins both glycoprotein and glycolipids are component of plasma membrane now there are two important functions they are secretions and they are plasma membrane lipoproteins form structural framework this keyword is very important structural framework of membrane is made from lipoproteins glycoproteins or glycolipids so lipoproteins make the structural framework nucleic acid attract basic proteins because nucleic is an acid it attracts the basic proteins to form nucleoproteins and nucleoproteins are present in chromosomes and what they do nucleoproteins play important role in regulation of gene expression or control of gene expression thanks for watching the upcoming video is of chapter 3 enzymes complete please do connect with us subscribe as well as comment and the like button must be pressed thank you for watching and learning stay blessed allah hafiz